Hello, good afternoon. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, this is Papa Paints, and my name is actually Larry, but I call this channel Papa Paints because I am Papa to at least one little five-year-old who I'm the grandfather of. And he calls me Papa, so I love it. Now, this painting next to me is one of the paintings I did and the purpose of this short video is to show you how I sell the prints. This is a print of the digital artwork that I do on Procreate. I just want to make this a very specific um, video tutorial or just, just a show and tell maybe. So we'll start off with how it starts. It starts off on an iPad and I will show you the same artwork that you see next to me. And as you can see on the iPad, the colors are identical to the print. I'm gonna show you how I printed that. And um, it's 16 by 20, by the way. And I wanna show you a quick time-lapse of how I painted that, because when you use Procreate, it, unless you turn it off, unless you turn off this particular feature, uh, it will record a time-lapse version, not, not a perfect time-lapse, but it records every stroke of your brush so that you have a time-lapse at the end if you want it. So I want to show you that, and I'll do that right now. Okay, so let me show you the time-lapse of the painting of the, uh, the deer in the woods um, that Robin and I happened to spot one of the times we were walking through the woods. This is the time lapse provided by Procreate and you can see I'm using the dry brush and I'm basically putting in all the basic stuff and keeping it very rough. I, I'll explain a little bit about the time lapse. Um, it does one stroke at a time so if you don't lift your brush from the screen it considers it one stroke. So you could scrub it for, you know, 10 minutes and it would be one stroke. And I did this in two layers. So I had uh, may maybe three, probably three. So I did this in uh, three layers, uh, probably. Uh, and then I painted in all of the things I wanted. And I painted the deer separately so that I could size it up. I wasn't sure how big or how small to make it. All right, so that's how I did that. Now, let me show you how the customer can buy that. You can see the print still behind me, hopefully. I moved it over, give myself a little room. Well, don't knock it over. But that's, that's the print. And I had it framed at uh, Walgreens. So I ordered the, the print from Fine Art America. I had it printed, I'm, I'm sorry, framed at Walgreens. And I'm gonna show you how I did that right now. All right, here is the page where people can buy the art. These images are the five by seven uh, hand painted cards that I've been doing for a long time now as watercolor paintings. But I wanted to show you the digital art and how um, you can buy some of that. Okay, so here's some more. This is where we wanna be. So I have pictures like this one, Queen of the Rainbow. Um, Let's see if I can go to the next one somehow. Um, I guess I have to go back. And then here, this is, this is uh, climbing the live oak tree. I wanna go to the one that's behind me. I wanna go to that one. So it's over, here it is. It's called Flora and Fauna. Oh, and you see that little green square? That gives the buyer an opportunity to see what it looks like up close, a close-up of it. And that's what it looks like. It's a, it's a very cool feature. So let's say I wanted to buy this print as I bought it here, 16 by 20. So let's go to Canvas Print. And you can see $73 is what I would pay for an 8 inch by 6 and a half inch. Okay. Um, that's what the customer would pay. I do get a, um, a profit, like a $30 profit, I think, something like that. 
on the printer. And I don't do anything other than send them the art, Fine Art of America. But I want to go to the 16 by 20, or close enough, 20 by 15 and a half. So now I have 20 by 15 and a half. It's $163 for the customer, of which I make maybe $40. I'm not really sure what my profit margin is. And just so you know, the profit margin is set by me, not by them. I could put it for $1 if I wanted, which is what I do on the um, on the greeting cards. I put them only a dollar profit. But on the prints, like this one here, and then if I sell that particular one, I add the, the amount that I paid for the frame. So you know that. But you can buy the frame here too. Let me show you. First of all, they give you a way to see what it looks like on the wall. In a, and oh, right there, 16 by 20 on a wall would look like that. Um, another example. But they also, let's see if I can, oh, and then they give you this opportunity where you can look at it from a 3D. You can spin it around and you can see the back of it. And that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else they offer here. I wanted to show you the frames. So let's say, okay, see where it says frames, none? Well, let's let's put a frame on it. Let's put a big old frame on it. Look at this gold frame. Hmm, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, but I guess we'll use that one, or maybe this one. I don't know. All right, so there's, there's the frame. And if you wanted... Uh, to see what that looks like on the wall. I guess it doesn't look all that different because the frame is not that big. Well, it doesn't show it in the frame, I wonder why. But anyway, so that's how people would buy it. Oh, with the frame, I see the price went up with the frame, so. Um, and there you go, let's see if I can have this 3D, the same thing. All right, let me put the camera back on me. Okay, now let's go back to um, the editing page so that I can uh, show you how I adjust the price and all of that. Um, so let's go, here's the flora and fauna. I'm gonna edit it now. Now I'm not really gonna edit it, by the way. I'm just gonna show you how I edit it. Let's see. Um, so this is where it shows you my name and uh, the title of the piece and um, my description of it, the keywords so people can find it. Um, I'll go ahead and we'll change it. I'll put it on Papa Paints since I'm featuring it now on Papa Paints. So the original is not for sale because the original doesn't exist. It's a, it's a digital painting. Um, and here, here's the markup and I choose how much to mark it up. So the 16 by 20 that I just showed you it's marked up $55, which means that when somebody buys this particular painting, I make $55. If they went for the 8x6, a very small one, my markup would be $35. And the largest would be 60 inches by 46.6 inches. My markup would be $85. But I have never sold the large ones. I have sold the 16x20s, and I think I sold the 24 by 18 a few of them and then the greeting cards just be just to re-mention them because i've mentioned them before there uh, i make one dollar each again the whole greeting card part of what i do is it's more of a ministry or a, i don't know just a benevolent thing just something i like doing so i make a dollar and as you can see there are other items that people can buy i think i've sold a few of them of this particular painting I know I've sold a lot of them on a couple of horse paintings I did. Okay, so I hope that helps explain how I take the digital fine art that I create and make it into actual tangible uh, artwork. You see, that's an actual framed piece of art. And Robin does the certificate of authenticity, which is always on the back. And you can have it framed anywhere. We, we ordered one that was framed by Fine Art America. 
and um, it came out beautifully. But to be honest with you, um, if you have it framed to yourself, it could be a little bit cheaper. And plus you can package it yourself, you know. And that's a whole other world when you're tr talking about mailing something to somebody, the price of postage, you have to make sure that your customer covers that um, so that it doesn't cut into your profit. And that's really all there is to that. Um, and if you've never sent anything overseas, trust me, that is not cheap. But hey, some of the people who buy the art, money's not their problem. <laughs> so, so you just go ahead and, and charge what you need to charge and they, they will have the money. So, all right, well, thank you for watching. Hopefully I didn't take too long to explain that to you. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.